Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Handy's channel. For this video, we will use trigonometric ratios in solving problems involving right triangles. For this tutorial, we will solve right triangles given the measure of two parts, the length of the hypotenuse, and the length of one leg. Given the length of the hypotenuse and the measure of one acute angle, Given the length of one leg and the measure of one acute angle, and given the length of the two legs. So let us start first with our first given. So from this given, the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg is given. Let us consider triangle BCA is right angled at C. If C is equal to 23 and B is equal to 17, find measure of angle A and measure of angle B and length of A. So for this situation, let us sketch first our triangle. So here is our triangle BCA with length of hypotenuse equal to 23 and length of the other leg which is equal to 17. So we are asked to find the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B here along with the measure of the length of side a. Let us find first measure of angle A. So this one. In this angle A, let us see the relationship of the measure of the hypotenuse and the measure of the leg. Let us use angle A as our reference angle such that C which is equal to 23 is the length of our hypotenuse and 17 is the length of the adjacent side with respect to angle A. So with this, since the given are the adjacent side and hypotenuse, let us use ka, that is, cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember that our reference angle for this one is angle A. Therefore, we will find cosine A, which is equal to 17 over 23. 17 for the length of our adjacent side over 23 for the length of our hypotenuse. Therefore, 17 divided by 23 is equal to 0 0.7391 With this, to find the measure of angle A, let us use our scientific calculator to find the measure of angle whose cosine value is equal to 0 0.7391. Simply press shift, cosine, and then 0 0.7391. Let us get the nearest degree so that measure of angle A is equal to 42 degrees. And that is the answer for the first question. This time, let us find measure of angle B. We have here two ways in finding the measure of angle B. It's either we used angle B as our reference angle such that 17 is the length of the opposite side and 23 is the length of the hypotenuse. With that, we may use sine B which is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. But for our case here, since we already know the measure of angle A, and we know also that measure of angle A plus measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees, then let us substitute the measure of angle A, which is 42, plus measure of angle B, that should be equal to 90 degrees. Using addition property of equality, let us add both sides negative 42 degrees. Therefore, measure of angle B will be equal to 90 degrees minus 42 degrees. Subtract the two numbers here. Therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 48 degrees. And that is the answer for the second question. For our last question, let us find the length of side. So we have here two ways in finding the length of side A. It's either you use the trigonometric ratios or let us use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of side A. So for this case, let us use first Pythagorean theorem to find the answer for this question. Using the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared such that the C, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to 23 and B, which is the other leg, has length equal to 17. Substitute the length of the given hypotenuse and the length of the given leg. Therefore, we will have 23 squared is equal to A squared plus 17 squared. 
evaluate this to, therefore we will have 529 is equal to a square plus 289. Transpose 289 to the left side of our equation or use addition property such that we will add negative 289 to both sides of our equation. Therefore, we will have 529 minus 289 is equal to a square. Subtract the two, therefore, we will have 240 is equal to a square. So again, for us to find the length of side A, let us square both sides of our equation such that A is equal to 15.49. So for this problem, we have measure of angle A is equal to 42, measure of angle B is equal to 48 degrees, and length of side A is equal to 15.49. We are done with the first given. Let us move on with the second given. So this time, given the length of the hypotenuse and the measure of one acute angle. So let's have triangle BCA is right angled at C. If C is equal to 27 and measure of angle A is equal to 58 degrees, find measure of angle B, length of side B, and length of side so let us sketch triangle BCA here such that the length of the hypotenuse is equal to 27 and the measure of angle A here is equal to 58 degrees. Let us find first measure of angle B. Since we know that the measure of angle A plus measure of angle B here is equal to 90 degrees, then let us substitute the measure of angle A here to find the measure of angle Therefore, we will have 58 degrees from here plus the measure of angle B should be equal to 19 degrees. Let's transpose 58 to the right side of our equation or simply use addition property of equality. Therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees minus 58 degrees. 90 minus 58 is equal to 32. Therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 32 degrees and that is the answer. Let's find this time the length of side B. So for the length of side B, which is this one, let us look for the relationship among the given two acute angles. So from here, let us use angle A as our reference angle such that the length of hypotenuse is equal to 27. If our reference angle is angle A, then B here or side B here is the adjacent side with respect to angle A. So you see, we have here adjacent and hypotenuse. Therefore, let us use ka that is cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Since our reference angle is angle A, then let's have cosine 58 is equal to B for the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse 27. Let us multiply both sides of our equation by 27 to eliminate the denominator here. Therefore, we will have therefore we will have cosine 58 times 27 is equal to B. Let us find the value of cosine 58 using scientific calculator. Just press cosine 58. Therefore, you will obtain 0 0.5299 10 thousands times 27. Let us multiply these two and round off our answer to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, the length of side B is equal to 14.31. And that is the answer for this one. For the last one, let us find the length of side A. You have here two options in finding the length of side A. So either you use the Pythagorean theorem or we use the trigonometric ratios. So from our first example, I already used the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, let us use now trigonometric ratios to find the length of side A. We may use any of the two given acute angles here in which measure of angle B is equal to 30. Degrees and measure of angle A is equal to 58 degrees. So let us use first angle A as our reference angle. So let us find the relationship of angle A to side A and side C. We know that side C is the hypotenuse of our right triangle. 
And A here is the opposite side with respect to angle A. Therefore, we have here opposite and hypotenuse. With that, in trigonometric ratios, we will use so that is sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. In which our reference angle here is angle A, which is 58 degrees. Then sine 58 is equal to opposite, which is equal to 8, over hypotenuse, which is equal to 27. So let us multiply both sides by 27 to eliminate the denominator here. Therefore, we will have sine 58 times 27 is equal to A. With this, let us find the value of sine 58 using our calculator. Simply press sine 58. We will obtain 0 0.8480 10 thousands. Multiply it by 27. Therefore, the length of side A is equal to 22.9. Again, measure of angle B is equal to 32 degrees. Length B is equal to 14.31. And length of side A is equal to 22.9. So that's it for our second given. Let us find out the third given. Given the length of one leg and measure of one acute angle. So let us consider triangle ABC is right angled at C. If measure of angle A is equal to 63 degrees, the length of side A is equal to 11. Let us find the measure of angle B and the length of side B. So for this, let us find first the measure of angle B. And if we add measure of angle A plus measure of angle B, the sum should be equal to 90 degrees. Let us substitute the measure of angle A, which is 63 degrees, plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Simply subtract the two. 90 minus 63 is equal to 27 degrees. And that is the measure of angle B. So this time, let us find the length of side B using trigonometry. So to find the length of side B, it's either we use angle A as our reference angle or angle B as our reference angle. So for this problem, I want to use angle B as my reference angle. Such that side A is the adjacent side with respect to angle B and side B is the opposite side with respect to angle B as well. So given here the opposite side and the adjacent side, so to solve the length of side B, let us use TOA, that is, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Since we use here angle B as our reference angle, then we will have tangent 27 since measure of angle B is equal to 27, which is equal to the opposite side, which is equal to B, and the length of the adjacent side, which is 11. Let us multiply both sides of our equation by 11 to eliminate the denominator here. Therefore, we will have tangent 27 times 11 is equal to B. Find first the value of tangent 27 using scientific calculator. Let's press tangent 27 such that it is equal to 0 0.5095 10 thousands times 11. Let us round off our answer to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, we will have B is equal to 5.60. And that is the length of side B. Let us have the fourth given. This time, given the length of the two legs. So let's consider triangle ACD is a right angle at C. If A is equal to 18.5 centimeter, and B is equal to 14.2 cm, let us find the measure of angle A and measure of angle B. In our case here, let us first draw the triangle such that I have the triangle ACB in which the length of side B is equal to 14.2 cm and the length of side A is equal to 18.5 cm. So let us find first measure of angle A, this one and find the relationship of side B and side A to angle A here. So side A here is the opposite side with respect to angle A, such that side B here is the adjacent side with respect to angle A as well. So we have here adjacent and opposite side. With that, we will use TOA 
to find the measure of angle A such that tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent side. Since our reference angle is angle A, then we have tangent A is equal to 18.5 for the length of opposite side over 14.2 for the length of the adjacent side. So 18.5 divided by 14.2 is equal to tangent A, which is equal to 1.3028,000. So to find the measure of an angle whose tangent value is equal to 1.3028, then let us use scientific calculator. Simply press shift tangent 1.3028. Let us get the nearest degree. Therefore, we will have measure of angle A is equal to 52 degrees. Now, let us find the measure of angle B such that measure of angle A plus measure of angle B should be equal to 90 degrees in which measure of angle A is equal to 52 degrees. Simply find the difference of 90 and 52. Therefore, measure of angle B is equal to 38 degrees. Remember that in solving right triangles, even at least one acute angle and two sides, then in finding the measure of any acute angles, simply use the trigonometric ratios using the given in a given right triangle. And in finding the length of any sides of the given right triangle, you may use trigonometric ratios in finding the missing length or Pythagorean theorem. So that's it for our video. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today.